Okay. Right. Conceptually, we've got a barrel, which is made out of cardboard in this particular instance, and a rocket, which in this particular instance is made of foam. So it's not a tennis ball, but hey. So what we do is we push that down, and then we'll find something to push it down with, a ramrod. So that's right the way down the bottom now, which is good. And what we've got at the bottom here is a piece of wood with a hole board in it and it's tapped to take the end of that. Can you see that? Right, that is just standard soda siphon bulb which has got a thread on it and that's got full of water and I've soldered the end over so, there's, uh, so that will act as a fusible plug. Now solder normally melts about 180-200 degrees depending on the sort of solder so that's centigrade obviously. If, if I heat that up, put it in there Put the whole lot in there, heat it with the blowtorch, that should go up to about 200 degrees. The solder should melt, at which point the water should immediately come out and flash it straight into steam and fire my projectile at my Wendy house. <laughs> <laughs> that is the theory. Right, so let's go and put this in, boiling, in, in, in cold water and boil it up. One day. Thank you. We'll start from cold so that we know that it's basically um, the water inside the solar siphon bulb has reached 100 degrees centigrade. We should be boiling water here, obviously. Thank you very much. You can switch that off now. The only problem is I can't see you putting this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Can't see what? There we go. Alright, that won't matter. Right. Look, on the cannon, i zoom out. Uh, I'll just zoom out if I was here. Okay, I've zoomed out. Right, I'll leave it there then. Take 10 minutes. <laughs> It exploded. <laughs> oh well. That's a shame. Obviously these things are not designed to take heat. Mm. <laughs> oh, shame, eh? When they're hot they obviously uh Oh well, end of experiment then, eh? Threaded, which is a bit of a bummer, really. It does say do not heat. <laughs> That's a shame, that. I wonder what the uh, well, with the, what the pressure has to be for the CO2 to be liquid. Because 200 degrees C of water is 15 bar, 15 mm -hmm. atmospheres. So I wonder if that's exceeded the pressure. No, it can't. I think it was just that it's because it. Got hot. It got overly hot at that point. Well, the one I used, it was a lot thicker than that, and it sort of, it actually, when it blew up, mm. the whole thing turned inside out. Yeah. It was one of, do you remember the green ones? Gr yeah, I remember. They looked like cast iron. Yeah. I don't want to use one of those because the shrapnel danger. <laughs> as one of these is fairly. Uh, what yeah. next? What next? <laughs> I'm filming Great. it was. The problem was, first problem was, um, so, um, yeah, so we're fairly, well, we've been proved to be right that the reason that that's split like that is because it was being heated locally by the flame from the gas torch. So in other words, um, it, it was, it, 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 it overheated. So what, to cure that problem, what we've done is we've uh, created a heat shield and we're going to, and we've put the heat shield around the bulb and we heat the heat shield, not the bulb. And that way it dissipates the heat more and allows us to heat the uh, the bulb evenly. So that's modification number one. Throw that away.
building Moriarty. I'm coming! Echoes. <laughs> Let's retire to a safe distance. <laughs> It actually blew the solder plug out. Brilliant. Whoa, so it worked. <laughs> the concept worked. Shall I switch it off now? Yeah, Are you ready, Eccles? I'm not yet, Eccles. Right. Right. And here, we're children, we're going for a second go. This time, we hope for it to pop out the other end. <laughs> 'm modification was that the uh, the foam rocket wasn't a very good fit inside the barrel so we've uh, added a bit of tape around that and that is now a rattling good fit in the barrel and that was the last shot you saw where it actually came out so those were the two modifications that we made and uh, that has resulted in success yeah right that's it oh I'll show you we can show you what it looked like when it was uh, when it was going. Protective screen there. <laughs> Not much of a protective screen, but hey. And that's how it was. And then what we did was we turned that round like that. And then we lit that like that. And that's how we heated it. Your mother's brother, as they say. 